So how's it? And welcome to my podcast. My name is Sally and I am Rule Diaries on Instagram and on Ravelry. This is my podcast. And yes, I know, I know, I know. And the computer is still not fake, so I'm doing this on my iPad, so you know, don't like it. Um, today is the 18th of June. <laughs> and I have forgotten to do the temperature. But I can tell you now the sun is out, but it's bloody freezing outside. That's what I'm going to say. Northern Hemisphere, you can keep keep our summer for another um, two months, and I want it back. See, September. I want it back. So you can keep it for July and August, and then I want my son back. So, this is going to be a big episode. Sport, there's too much. So I'm just going to give you some highlights. Novak Djokovic lost the French Open. To Favrenka. The Bulls have not made it through to the next um, round, if you want to call it that, of the Super Rugby. <laughs> they didn't cover themselves with glory when they were overseas. And then Hamilton, as far as I remember, he is still first in the Drivers' Champion. Sure. I think. Okay. So, a minute and a half, and I've already gotten through most of the waffle. So, what have I been doing? <sighs> lots, 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 lots have been done. Lots, lots, lots have been done. So, let's start off with finished objects. Okay, so, here's the deal. I have a lot of finished objects, because you haven't seen a lot of them. Some of them are from previous podcasts, but I wasn't able to show you. I was going to edit them all in and show you fancy pictures at the end, but... Because I'm using my iPad, I am so not going to edit this video. So I'm just going to show you. So the first thing I did was a square for Stephanie, um, a bag full of crochet. She left to go to Germany. So what we all did in our knitting group was we made her a square. So I made her a square. Ooh, eh, eh. There you go. Of course, with skull and crossbones on it. I hope this isn't going to be a problem the whole way through. So that's my first finished object. Maybe in the next podcast I'll enter them all. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'll put them all at the end that I can do. The second one was for Sue. It was her birthday. And myself and Sally Jane made her a BFF cow. So there it is. There she is. Crazy, lovely lady. Oh, you see my old. I made the blue link and Sally Jane made the pink link, of course. I made the blue one for bluebells and Sally Jane made the pink one because she was like, what colour must I make? I'm like, really? Really? Then, also, for one of our Yami friends, um, Michelle Hutchinson, she, it was her birthday as well. So I made her the London Calling shawl out of Nurturing Fibres. Oh, I suppose I should tell you. Okay, so the square was out of Quince and Company. I don't know what the colour was. Pomegranate. And it was out of the Finch, I think. The Fawpla. The cowl was out of... I made mine out of... My link out of Nurturing Fibres in the Aquamarine colourway. I almost said Aquarium. The Aquamarine colourway. I made this out of nurturing fibers worsted in the London Calling colorway. And then, no, another birthday present was I made the Yarn Pimp, a Ricky hat out of a one of a kind um, gradient, DK gradient. Absolutely stunning. Let me see if I've got a picture of it. I think I do have a picture of it flat, but it's not a very good picture. There you go. So it went from light blue to a denim blue to a dark blue to a, like a bluish gray color on the top. It's not as long as the Ricky had supposed to be. Sorry, Gina. But I ran out of yarn. I kept having to t to rip it back. It's like it was the longest hat. took me the longest to make that hat ever. Then another birthday present I made. And I'm sure you've all seen it in Sally Jane's last podcast was the the Yoda hat for Caleb. I had so much fun doing that. Although both my boys turned around and said, I'm not wearing that. 
I'm not doing one of those. My boys are oh, no fun whatsoever. Very prim and proper. So Sally Jane sent me this photo of little Caleb wearing little. He's not little anymore. He's eight. He's eight. And his stampy doll. A big cat. Boys don't have. Boys don't have dolls. And then, last of all, was something I made for um, our winter accessories swap. My swap partner was Madeline Woolhogs down in Cape Town. Um, she has a site, uh, online store as well called woolhogs.co.za. Go check it out. Go check it out. Go check it out for some South African yarn. Mm. I made her one of Sally Jane's other patterns. It's called the Dragon's Hope. It was a paid-for pattern, but now she's made it free. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful shawlette. I absolutely love it. However... <laughs> By the time I got to the end, I was over the dragon scale <laughs> stitch pattern. I love it. I love it. And I will make one for myself. But I just need to get over that. So, there's Madeline sporting her shawlette. I did it in nurturing fibers. Sock yarn in the, in the super twist. In the Namib, Namib colorway. I really loved it. It it worked so nicely. She wanted um one of the things we had to answer was colours and of course I'm like in your face as bright as you can get colour. And Madeline was like, No, I like subtle colours and I went, Oh, oh subtle colours, I don't do subtle colours. But I had this ball in my in my stash. So it was perfect. And it did look like dragon skin when with the with the with the browns and the silver and the um, yeah, it was bronze and silver, so it worked really, really well. So those are the those are my FOs that I can't show you, and I'm sorry that the pictures are like really, really naff. So I've got three FOs that I can show you. So when I'm wearing, it's my purple people. What did we call it, Maureen? Purple people, people, purple people eater sock yarn. Sweater. The pattern is by Hannah Fedek and it's called Sock Yarn Sweater. So, because I'm stash busting, although you wouldn't say a scene, <laughs> I used a whole load of different skeins. So, the top is purple from Kuru Moon. Um, you, it's the same, it was what was left over from my 3-in-1. If I could wear that sweater every day, I would. This colorway here is, I just want to get my tags because I did bring them because I don't want to mess it up. The rest is all nurturing fibers. So this colorway here is Fantasia. This one here, let me show down here rather. This one here is called Faded Violet and this one here is Silver. So I love the way it fits. My OCD is having a bit of an issue with what I did with the striping. Because <laughs> my sleeves are different to my body. But I'm wearing it today to decide whether or not I can live with the OCD. I mean, with the stripes. Not with my OCD, I have to live with that anyway. And if not, then it's going to go to the only other person I know who has gorilla arms. And that is Sally Jane. So, we'll see. We'll see. Not gorilla arms. We have a ring of tang arms. Like seriously long. Although you see I make my sleeves even longer than my arm is. Because whenever I buy a jersey. I either have to buy it to fit my arms. Or I have to buy it to fit my, my, my body. I don't get both. It's one or the other. So that was my first one. What did I say? Okay, the mods I did on this was I did a, a shorter, but I still did a bit of a roll neck. You can see it's rolling a bit. Not as much. Um, I blocked it a bit straighter than what it... I mean, it, it was like right down here, but I know then I would... I prefer it a bit higher up. Um, that mod comes from... If you look on the, the kids' version, there's a free mods... PDF that 
that you can download. And in there, there's a whole load of different modifications. Um, so I just took the one for the, the roll neck, and I used that. Obviously, I knitted the body longer, and I knitted the arms longer. Of course, what else? Oh, I used a 3.5mm needle, and dun, 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 I knitted this in 11 days. I started on the 4th of June, and I finished on the 15th of June. Um, I wanted to see... I'm doing a Wimbledon jersey, and in the past I've always done thicker weight jerseys during Wimbledon because I was always afraid I was never going to finish a a full sweater for myself, cardigan sweater, whatever for myself in the fourteen days that it that Wimbledon is on. Now my mother never used to, but oh, I don't know if I've said this. Have I said this? My mother always knitted a sweater during Wimbledon. It was a thing. Because it's winter here, it's not summer, it's winter. So I've kind of, since I've become a knitter with a capital K, I've kind of done that as well. Every year I've knitted a sweater during Wimbledon. Yes, even when I worked, but I always knitted a thicker weight. I never knitted a fingering weight. Now I have a buttload of fingering weight yarn that does not have nylon in it. And after blowing through three pairs now of non-nylon socks... I have decided that I'm not knitting socks with nylon in anymore. Because I love my I love my socks and I want to wear them, but I wear them in my shoes, I wear them everywhere. I don't just wear them in the house. So So now I've got a whole load of these one skein balls, which is what happens. So there'll be a lot more um stripey sweaters in my future. So I can do it in 14 days. I've proven I can do it in 11 days. So yes, I will be, I forgot something, I will be making my Wimbledon. This is for, um, in the South African group, I challenged everybody, um, you know, in this, uh, that there's a nanny swaymo, nanny knit, Swimo, I don't know how to say it, but it's in November. So basically, while everybody's supposed to be writing a novel, then knitters knit a, a sweater. It's got to have 50,000 stitches in it. It's got to take them a month to do. So I thought, you know what, let's do one in winter rather here when we're all thinking about being cozy and warm and snuggly. So this is, for, this is my RSA Knit Swaymo. So, yes, I do love it. Well, we'll see by the end of today. I'll let you know next week. It's not going to get frogged. It's not going to get frogged because there's nothing wrong with the fits. I love the fits. And since I blocked it, it's even better. It's a looser. I did try it on immediately after it comes off the needles. And it was a bit tight. So... I did block it, not aggressively, I just blocked it and stretched it a little bit and all over. So I do love it, the fit more now. I definitely will be making more of these. They're nice, um, just pull over and it's it's so not a complicated pattern. It's just perfect. You just zoom, 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 zoom. So that was a lot about this sweater, sorry, and a whole load of other stuff. Right, what else have I made? I have made... Two Sally Jane patterns. Sally Jane is releasing a new pattern called the Phoenix Hat. Sorry, I'm just foofing all the <laughs> all this sparky hair, all the Labrador hair off mine. Um, I test knitted it for her. I did it in the Rowan Fine Art, which is a sort of freaking yarn that gets milled here, dyed here, sent to the UK, and then sent back again. So you can imagine how expensive it is. So there you go, Rowan. I don't know if it's back to front if it is. <laughs> it is made with merino, kid hair, kid mohair, polyamide nylon, and mulberry silk. It is shade 304 because Rowan is so creative with their names. So the Phoenix hat, I test knitted the adult small and the yarn is a bit thinner than um, a normal 
fingering weight. So I went down a needle size. As per instructions by the designer, let me tell you. I also did no slouch. I like no I like a no slouch. I like a tight beanie. And actually I have a small noggin. So let's put it on. Let's be let's live dangerously on the podcast. Love. There you go. Okay, but this is not the dangerous part. The dangerous part is when it comes off. So, it's this mock cable. And then it goes off into a triangle. And you can make it slouchy. But I kind of like my, my hats to be more like skull caps. But they must go over my ears, which you can see. Perfect. I've worn this a lot. I have worn it a lot. Okay, now here comes the taste. Oh, I washed my hair today. Can you tell? No. Um, I've worn it a lot. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I need to get my kids to take a photo of me with it, wearing it, so I can put it on Sally on my pattern page for Sally Jane. But you know what? Hey, having boys is not. So yes, Sally Jane will be releasing this. Have no cooking clue when sometime this year. There it is. There's a lovely mock triangle. It's beautiful. I wish mine here I hadn't pulled the black. Because you can't really see it. But this is not going to be my only one. It's got this cool decrease on the top. I'm trying very hard to show you so that the light catches it. Oh, check out it's striped at the top. I didn't even notice that. Oh, how cool. Um, yeah, I love it. I love it. This is not going to be my only one. So, about the pattern. It's an amazing pattern. It's um, from, there's whack loads of sizes. I think there's toddler, child, and then it goes all the way up to adult, extra large. So, but look, it's got so much stretch in it. And um, the vision that Sally Jane's made, uh, there's some slouch in it. Some other people have made slouch. It's entirely up to you when you want to start the decreases. I did, I didn't, I did, I finished the, the cable pattern, the mock, mock cable, I need to say that because I'm not a cabler, um, the mock cable pattern, and then I went straight on to the decreases, I do love it, keeps my ears so nice and warm when it's windy, so that's that, I must be rushing, I thought this was going to take a lot longer than it is, Oof. No other FO. I finished my winter is coming short. Short late. I'm gonna say my baby short because oh, and of course now you're not gonna see the collar. This is another Sally Jane pattern and she's had a cow on her group and I've been doing it along with the Yamis and this weekend you've got to finish the the uh, the Yamis have got to finish the stakes and the icicles. Stakes and icicles. I love it. Yes, it doesn't go with my purple people eater. I love it. I know, I don't wear shawls. But after I knitted the first one for my friend Belinda. Oh, I didn't show you that one. I need to make a note of that. Belinda. Don't After I made the first one for Belinda, I was like, oh, I want one too. Okay, I don't know how to wear them. I, blo I finished it yesterday morning. I washed and blocked it yesterday, and it was dry this morning. Because it's so windy. So there's a wall section, there's a snow section, there's a wave section. Dragon stitch. And then the stakes and the icicles. Oh. There are some stunning, stunning, stunning ones in Sally Jane's group. You need to go look. So this is mine. Mine, mine, mine. Mine, mine, mine. I was thinking about giving it to my niece for, my, for her birthday, but now that I can see, I can wear it because I came out a bit short. I used the teeny tiny needles. What did I use? Three and a half mils. I used the teeny tiny needle size. I, was, I didn't want to run out because I've got absolutely nothing else that would go with this. So this is nurturing fibers. 
Again, you're going to hear a lot of that because I need to work through my whole big whacking stash. It is the Super Twist Sock and it's in the Monet colorway. Monet. Monet. M-O-N-E-T-T-E. I have no idea how to say that. I want to say Monet, but I don't want to say Monet because it doesn't really remind me of the painter. So there. Yes, my stitch count was perfect until the last row. So, <laughs> if in doubt, nobody's going to know. And if you're looking that closely, then you know what, huh? you've got a problem. But I did line up all my points with my icicles. So, Okay, let's take that off so that you don't have to see me wearing red and purple at the same time. Because I don't work for Virgin Airlines. That was the first time I saw red and purple when I flew Virgin Airlines. I was like, wow, that actually looks quite cool. Okay, sidetrack, never mind, coming back. Okay. Winter is coming. Cal finishes on the 21st of June, which is this weekend. So if you're planning on doing it, you can do it still. Still you can do it because it is addictive bomb easy. You can still do it, but it finishes on the 21st. Um, let's see what else have I got written here. Okay, so what, Sally, what are you knitting on? Okay, well, let's tell you what nothing has been knitted on. My two Sakyong blankets, well, I actually have three, but I'm deciding whether or not I want to keep the one. Three Sakyong blankets have had no love. Absolutely zoppa doppa dupe. Because I was knitting on all the other things. So... Nothing. Um, I started yesterday my June socks. Now, June was my month, and um, I know Sally Jane's already showed you. So, and you, you know what, everybody, if you don't watch her, then you need to go watch her clearly, okay? Because a lot, we, we, a lot. So, it was Youth Day, which is um, kind of important here in South Africa. Well, not kind of, it is an important day here in South Africa. Uh, basically, it's the youth uprising against the government, the apartheid government, um, for the fact that the apartheid government wanted to educate in Afrikaans. And there's a longer story. Go Google it. Go Google it. Go Google it. Go Google it. So, the international colour for youth is orange. Because I was like, what do I do for youth day? Oh my god. Sally Jane chose such a horrible one for me to do. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. She could take such offense. So I change, chose orange. And I chose Michelle from Heartland to do our colorway for us. So she has a colorway, and I can't remember what it is called. It's called You Something. And she said, Can I do this? And I said, No, because I want more vibrant colors. It, Michelle normally, although you would never say from the, the, the three pairs of socks, no, the two pairs of socks plus this one that myself and Sally Jane have asked her to do, but normally her colorways are very subtle. Well, Michelle, if you're watching, you so need to do more colorways like what you've been doing for myself and Sally Jane, because, that's what I'm going to say. So she dyed it up for us on the Tulbach stock, which is 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere, and 10% nylon. Oh my sack. Cashmere in my socks. This stuff is stunning. It's called Youth Day. And it is oranges, light blue. It's like a, like a pinky colour, but it's coming from the orange. And some brown. I know. I also thought when I saw it, I thought, oh no man, it looks so much like our flipping May socks. I was a bit disappointed. But then, last night, I was actually had the two pairs together and I was like, ah, okay, it looks nothing like that. So, moving on. So, I cast on, on Tuesday after I finished this, I did the toe. And I wasn't feeling it. And I know why I wasn't feeling it. Because I said to myself, when I'm finished this, I need to finish the winter is coming. Because I was actually behind because I was doing this and I didn't want to stop doing this to do my winters coming. I wanted to see how long it took me. So on Tuesday when I woke up, I finished the winter is coming. I only had that 
steaks and icicles to do. And then yesterday morning I cast off. But before I, on, on Monday when I had finished this, I cast on my toe. I did my rounded toe, 64 stitches, and I did, I had done, I'd actually done six, 17 rounds. And then on Instagram, I saw Knitting Mommy. I think it's Knitting Mommy 6. She had a variegated sock, and she had a pattern on it. And I was like, <gasps> what is that? What is that? I want to do that. And it is the Jack pattern on Ravelry. It's a free download J E C and it's just a it's not even a rib it's pull two stitches slip a stitch in between so it's pull one slip one pull one and you do that a certain amount of times around and then the following round is knit so it's not that complicated oh, you'd think I still miss it anyway I frog back because I'm special I'm very special because I can't count. We know I can't count. So, I did the foot last night. So what I've done is I've done my toe and then I did 20 rounds. Just so I know to do the next sock. Otherwise I'll be like, what the hell? And then, 80 rounds of the jack pattern. Then I did the fish lips kiss heel. And I wasn't going to. I must admit I'm getting a bit bored of doing the fish lips kiss heel. Yes, I can do it without looking, but I'm getting a bit bored. But I hadn't had any forethought. Um, the other heels that I want to try, you've got to start the, de the, the decrease, the increases further down. So I just hoid in the fish loves kiss heel. I need to do something else. And then I did 10 rounds of the, you can't see that side, Sally, you can't see, 10 rounds of the leg last night. Just to get past the heel. I don't like leaving it on the heel. It stretches it a bit. Now, as you can see, it's pulled it in a bit. So I'm hoping, I haven't tried it on yet. I'm hoping it still fits. Please let it fit. I mean, there's quite a bit of stretch in it. So... I do love it. Yes, the pattern is top down. I'm doing toe up because I'd already started. I'm not. I wasn't going to frog it. I had already frogged it <laughs> because I had cast on a different sock, but I didn't like the way it was working out. So these are my June socks. I'm hoping to have the leg done today, and um, yes, by next week, hopefully the computer will be back, and I will have a pair of socks. So, oh, and that is living in, let me just take another, why do I carry all this? It's living in one of my sock sacks. Why is it not living in my jean project bag? Because I've stuffed up my jean project bag. I need to pick it all out and redo it. It's called being impatient, really. It's called being impatient. Now we get to the bit that's going to start to be obscene. Where do I start? What did I get first? Okay, first of all, my winter accessory swap. So what we had to do was we had to make our, our partners a winter accessory. And then... Sorry. And then we... Oh, and a notions bag. That was the only thing we had to do. Everything else was a bonus. So, my partner was Vicky V. Vicky V. So I was like, there's Vicky Vale from Batman. Vicky Vale. Vicky V. She made me a cow. Now, it's bright orange, and of course, now the camera's blowing it out for me. I don't know if it's going to be blowing it out for you. Oh, and the hair again. Bright orange cow. And... Oh, she dyed it. I'm such a dork. I just realized. It's in Africans Expressions, the Express Yourself range, which is a, um, a natural range. It comes only in natural colors that you can dye yourself. This is in Merino, Mohair, and Alpaca. That's beautiful. But I don't know what... 
the whites it is. What whites is this? I'd say it was a DK. Because of the needle gauge is 3.25 to 5, 4.5. I don't think it's a 4.5, is it? No, it's a DK. So that's... I didn't realize. Oh, Vicky, you're so stinking clever. And it's crocheted. It's hickle. Hickle. Not heckle, heckle. And it's an infinity cow. So, <laughs> I now remember. Um, Matthew finished writing exams yesterday. And um, when I received the notification that this was in the post, I went, I took him with too quickly after one of his exams to go and get the parcel. So he's opening the box in the car and he goes, Mom, someone sent you brains. Because it looks like brains when it was in the bag. Oh, stuck on my nose. That was elegant. Then he opened, carried on opening, and he said, "Mom, somebody sent you meatballs." Very, con very concerned, sixteen-year-old. They're not. The mini skeins for my blanket. Don't they look so cute? So stinking cute. So that needs to go into my bago, bago sock blanket. Then I got something else. Now this he couldn't say anything about. I got two more things. I got my notions bag and I got some. Oh no wait, and I got chocolate, but of course that's long gone. <laughs> There's no ways that's going to last. No ways, no ways. Um Captain America, the first one. Where it's Red Skull, um Hydra. Don't you think that looks like him? I think it looks like him. I think it looks like him. So his name is Red Skull. So, meet Red Skull. I'm loving all my skulls that I'm getting. Then the most epicest thing ever. Yes, and that's a new word I've just made up. Epicest thing. Check out this notions bag. How cool is that? Flippin'. Awesome. I love it. Absolutely love it. And it's got... Now this is a Shui Shui print as well, both of them, which is a South African print. I love Shui Shui too. Okay, if you can hear that, that's Matthew. He's finished writing the exam, so he is home. So I don't quite know what he's laughing at, but he's laughing at something. So that was my epicness parcel from Vicky V. Thank you, my love. I do love it. Lots, lots, lots. Right, let's go in order. Then the next thing. I met this most amazing lady. Her name is Gina B4 on Ravelry. We met at Marizage Fire and Ice Hotel. Very nice. But of course, when you're local, you don't stay in hotels. And she spoiled the snot out of me. So, Sally, what did you get? I got a t-shirt from her daughter's company, Engage, and she said she thought of me because she th it looks like the, the Star Wars, not Star Wars, Star Trek logo. So I got that epicness, which I can now wear. Not, it's too gold. And then I got a lovely shopping bag from Texas Tamale Company. She's from Texas, just in case you didn't know. Which is so super cool. So, so super cool. I can start using all this stuff now. It's just been sitting here in the in the dining room waiting for me. Then I got... I love it so much. It's got spots inside. And it's Magic Junie Sews in Austin, Texas. But I know she doesn't sell. She just makes for her friends. Oh, no, she does sell. But at a shop. A brick and mortar, not online. Look, if this was the only thing she had bought me, I would have been so stupid happy. If this was it. But no, wait. There's more. Because she's such a lovely, lovely lady. 
seriously, I got fish knit strong hot two ply fingering. And it's 80% superwash merino and 20% nylon. And the colorway is long stocking and it's self striping. Oh, I've been showing you the whole doll. How cool is that? Oh, it's like the bomb. It's the bomb. I love it. Okay, I just need to put all this back in. Because carrying this is going to be quite a challenge in the back of the then, because, you know, it's not enough. No, 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 no. I got mustache yarns, hand dyed yarns and fibers. In the perfect sock, self-striping, OCD skein, in the sesame, number 16 colorway. And this is 80% merino, 20% nylon. Stashing good, huh? Now, Stacy from Mustache Yarns, I have been watching her podcast for, since they started. And I have been dying over her colorways. She has the most amazing colorways. So when I saw this, I might have screamed a bit. Screamed a bit. So, that is it. Dun, 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 dun. Now, what an OCD skein is, is it's two exactly the same dyed skeins. So you can start in one place. And end up with two exactly the same socks. There's no guesswork. There's no... I kept it a window, hey? Because you know me. I'm a bit bonkers. I'll have, when I wind it, I'll have to check. Never mind. I'll have that brain fart later. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. It's... Oh. Stacy, I need more Stacy. So, more. I know, I know, I know. And you must see down here. There's more down here too. Really, really. It's like I, I, I exploded. Miss Babs, hand dyed yarns. Mountain City, Tennessee. I, I think TN means Tennessee. Yummy two ply toes. So this is enough to do toes and heels. And I got two of them. So you can make shorty socks. They are the same colours, believe it or not. No, they're not. They're different. That's okay. Okay, so there are heels and toes. Beautiful. And I got these, oh, oh, look how gorgeous these stitch markers are. They've got little gems on them. They've got little gems on them. Because I, were, I was knitting this when I saw her. And of course I had all my plastic ones hanging off. And she was like, no, 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 no. You need to use these ones. They're much prettier. So it's like jewelry for your knitting. So thank you, my love. It was so nice to sit and knit with you and to meet you. And yes, you need to come back. Is stupid for you. So, those are my presents. Now, I wait up another present. Helena, my yarn doctor. Um, I've been harassing her for um, suck yarn scraps for my blanket from her because I want to make a strap from her, and um, so eventually I got them. So I got them. Beautiful bag. I mean, I love all of them. I don't need to say. So, in here is Julie Spins and Dara. I think it says Godstock's Midnight Sheep, which is hers. Sanguine Griffa, Vespa, Twisted Fiber Arts, Posh, Cherry Tree Hill, and then what was the other one? I did write it on the other side. She left one off. Socks at Rock is also in here. There you go. Let me show you that side. That is my next stripe, is my Helena stripe. Okay, so that are all good and painful. <laughs> so at the beginning of June, we went to the Irini market and I, I got pants because I want pants from there. 
But I did see one of a kind, you know And what I did get was um, I got some presents, which I obviously can't show you. And I got um, myself some more of this. Do you remember at the beginning of the year when Sally Jane was up, I got some red. Well, I got some more. So now I don't have to make a stripy jersey with that or try and figure it out. I have now enough to make a solid screaming bright red something. So I got two of those. What, I, what did I get next? Next, I ordered from M Tempest from Electric Carnations. I'm just packing away while I'm talking. See, M Tempest Electric Carnation. I asked her, I set her a challenge, <laughs> and I said, Is she willing to accept the challenge? And she said, Yes. So, what I asked for was the Doctor Who scarf, but for socks. No sparkle. I don't think the Doctor Who scarf does sparkle. So she came back and she said to me, okay, she can just about fit it onto two, you know, twice, so one, one. So I said to her, no, don't be silly, man. Just do it all in one. So both socks are completely different. So this is what I got. It's got all the colours of the Doctor Who scarf. I can't remember which one I sent her because there's different versions. But they've all basically got the same colour, just, just how many repeats there is. Oh, how cool is that? It took a long time for her to dye it because obviously it's quite an intense. But I can't wait. I absolutely can't wait. So it's on her Jenny sock, which is um, no sparkle. And a 75% superwash merino, 400, uh, 425% nylon, 25% nylon, and it's 423 meters. I can't wait, it's got greens and yellows and brown. <gasps> then, oh, it's obscene, the section is obscene. The yarn pimp, Gina. It was a birthday, as I showed you. And she offered a whole load of discount codes for her birthday. The one was on Manos, and the other one was for free shipping. And basically, you could use both of them if you if you bought the Manos and then you bought and then you went over the certain amount to get the free shipping. I did not buy Manos because what I was thinking was, I uh, what? Let me backtrack. I put back loads into my cart. I went a bit bonkers, and then I took it all out, and then I only put in what I thought was required. So none of it was Manos, because what I would have had to do with the Manos is I would have had to order like a whole sweat, because what I'm doing is I'm trying to build up my, my sweater stash, so, and bigger project stash. If it's one or two skeins, I'm cool. But as soon as it goes over that, I'm a bit... <laughs> so what I did was... I, I'm bearing in mind I was knitting my stripy. I have bought a whole load of single skeins. So that I can use what I've got existing with this to make bigger items. So... Here is my baggie of stuff. So now the big ones are all nurturing fibers to add to my nurturing fibers, single ones. And the small ones are all crew moons, which work, as you can see, with the nurturing fibers. So here are some more possibilities for what I already have in my existing stash. So I don't actually feel too bad about this because it makes my stash more usable. So this I can, I can actually live with. Um, and what she did was she sent me a, a mini skein to add to my succulent blanket. Look how cute this is. I don't even want to use it. And a little baggie. Oh, it's so stinking cute. So cute. So cute. I opened it and I was like, oh, that's so sweet. And my sons are like, oh. Okay, I think this is the last thing I have to say. Wow. 
African Expressions is a South African yarn. They have lots of different ones and um, it's very reasonably priced, even the they 100% wool. They do have some that are blended with acrylic, uh, but even their 100% wool is very uh, reasonably priced. It is a commercial dye, so it's not going to be tonal or variegated. I mean, this is this is a indie dye. These are all indie dye colorways. What I think as a a commercial is a more like a flat colorway, not a not a tonal, not a variegated. I just said all that. I don't actually have a commercial dye to show you. So anyway. Yes. You cannot buy directly from African Expressions, but you can get it from Scarpie. You can get it from Wool Hogs. Online, I'm talking about now. And I love yarn. Okay, so this is not the last thing I'm going to tell you about. One of the ladies in my nesting group knows a lady <laughs> who knows, 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 knows. Who has a, um, a contact, I think it's her mum, who loves to shop. I want to be this lady when I grow up. She turned... It was 87 and she went to the South Pole for her birthday. I want to be this lady. When I grow up. So anyway, this little shop in the middle of a dorpy, a village in the Cape, sells the African expression soul. Now the soul comes in commercially dyed solids and it comes in hand painted skeins. Now, the cheapest we can find it up here is 123 Rand. And this lady who comes up to Joburg very often, so there's no transport because she's already coming up, she can get it for us for 82 Rand 50. So, I have four skeins. <laughs> there they all are. And this is the same base as the Rowan Fine Art. Now, the Rowan Fine Art is 200 Rand a skein from the shop that I can get it from. My local always. And it's exactly the same base. They even they even say it's the same same base. 15% uh, kid mohair, 15% mulberry silk, 50% wool, and 20% polyamide, which is... Um, no, no. And they don't have... Names, they have big, fat, long numbers. So I have the, it's a greeny, oh, the green doesn't show, the greeny blue colorway. I have the, I would call this a magenta and gray colorway. I have the, and I don't understand why they do this. Rowan have got exactly the same colorway. There's brown, black, and gray. I don't get the brown. And then there's one with magenta, deep, this is a deep purple, and a, a, a light grey. There are other colourways, and they're all coming into the same. I'm just saying. There's more coming. They have some really beautiful colourways. There's a black and a red and a grey. There's a lovely yellow, purple, and red one. I'm trying to think what other colourways are. Mm. Very, very, very nice. Oh, sorry, it's chilly. Um, what did I want to say? Okay, so in Yarny News, Yarn in a Barn is reopened. However, the grand opening is on the 11th of July. The Yarmies and I are heading out that way. It's by Hotty Beersport Dam. Um, we're going to have some knitting and some shopping. I don't know if I'll be shopping. Doesn't seem I need anything. But you never know. I know M from Electric Carnation has just dyed up a whack load of shawl um, size skeins and is sending them there. So <laughs> hopefully there's some left. Hilda. Save some for us Santa and Chicks. You can't get there so often. And then on this last Saturday that went past, we went, it was Knit and, Worldwide Knit and Public Day. And I was going to go to the Walter Susulu. 
park. <laughs> it was cold. And I know it's warm at that side. And I know if I'd sat in the sun, it would have been warm. But I was a chicken, so I didn't go. What I did do was I went to the I Love Yarn function. So there was four of us from the Yami's group that went to the I Love Yarn function. And it was in Pretoria, where the I Love Yarn shop is. And it was my first time going to the I Love Yarn shop. Good thing I had a budget. Okay, I blew the budget. I'm present. Okay, nothing for me, so I can't show you. Oh, I did buy something for me. I bought um, Cubix needles. I want to try Cubix needles. So the next sweater that I make, I'm going to use the Cubix needles. I bought the the um, the 40 inch to do the sleeves. So I'm going to try that, and I'll let you know how it goes. <coughs> But that's all I bought for myself. Everything else was presents because it was such nice stuff. They're made by ladies, um, previously disadvantaged ladies who hand make stuff. So I bought some presents from there. Um, yeah, so her shop. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it. Now for us South Africans... It blew my mind. It really blew my mind. They, uh, they're having an issue with their website. So their website does not have everything on it that they stock in their shop. So if you are in Gauteng anywhere, get in your car and go to I Love You On. There's a whole, there's two walls. One is just who, they have their own range. And they have a cotton and bamboo one, and they have a wool, which is a four ply, and a wool, which is a DK. Now, I said to you, I was trying to, I'm trying to build up my sweater stash, but I walked away with no yarn from the shop at all. Very proud of myself. They've also, they're the South African stock is for Malabrigo. Now, I bought Malabrigo at Hobby X, so I didn't need anything. So I didn't, because I want to knit that first before I replace it. So, to me, what else is there that they don't, uh, they have a lot of cotton from other countries that I've never seen. But as a knitter, I'm always weary. Of, I love crocheting in cotton. But as a knitter, I'm a bit weary because the, the fabric is very... Um, very drapey and very loose, and it does stretch a lot. Well, in my opinion, okay, people said it. So, the four of us went shopping there. I did the least amount of damage. Let me just say, being proud of myself. I could have done a lot more. Um, and then we went to the actual function. It wasn't at the shop. Uh, there was too many people. It was at a shopping centre, at a restaurant. Tribeca, and we had a lovely time. The food was awesome. Um, we had an absolutely amazing time. It was a bit chilly because it was in the shade. But yes, we stayed until um, about lunchtime. After eating the wrong way around, we had, oh, we had cake first. <gasps> we had Oreo cheesecake. Very nice. And then, yeah, we stayed until about half past one. And then we came, and then we made the trip home again. So it was a very nice afternoon. Very, very nice morning, very nice afternoon. And yes, I would like to encourage more South Africans next year to get out in public and to show your love of knitting and crocheting. And there was a lady weaving. It kind of blew my mind a bit. I'd never seen it before for so, years. Yeah. And then I lied again. There's one more thing I want to talk about. You and I think this is my longest ever episode. The mama vertebrae cow. I have not decided whether or not there's going to be prizes. Um, I'm a, I'm anxious about postage. I'll just say that I'm anxious about postage. But 
a lot of you have asked for the cow, so I'm, I'm still debating. I will let you know close to the time, but we're going to start on the 1st of August, and look, I can do it in, in a month, but I will give you two months, so until the end of September. There are, the, the, the pattern is amazing. There's three weights that you can use. There's worsted, there's um, DK, and there's a fingering weight for ply um, sizes in there. It's such a versatile pattern. Um, what else did I want to say about it? Oh, I'll talk some more about it because I've made two now. I've made one as pattern and I've made one modif one with modifications. But we can chat about that closer to the time as to what you want to do. Uh, yes, a lot of people are have been in in real life have been asking me when I'm going to do it and so I just thought you know what I'll just do it because I by then I would have knitted two jerseys you see I would have knitted this one and I would knit my Wimbledon one and then I would have had a break and then we can start another another I'm going to have mama vertebrates coming up my ears um I am finding my Manos one is not warm enough to wear at the moment. And my DK one wears my arms and my back are really warm. But because I'm not carrying a baby in the front, my front is getting freaking freezing cold. So, I think I'm going to do a wool four ply one next because remember them the manos one is cotton and alpaca and I think the cotton doesn't um it's it's lovely for in for in the transitional but at the moment I need because I'm I'm cold blooded. I'm not warm blooded. I'm cold blooded. So I think that's enough, don't you? Sorry people that's a long one. So I'd like to say, if you want to see progress, miss on one thing only. Don't sense.